Welcome back to episode 3 here. We just hit Stone Ridge and we're going to head in there right now. And that is true, stone and wood are needed for almost everything you do in building. So the map, every location is set up just like your own base. If you walked around the edges of your map, you'll see it's just exactly the same. There's a lot more trees and rocks and <clears throat> a lot of other cool things. Before you get started though, you should always check out your daily quest to see if what you need to do. You can get a free refresh only one time a day throughout all these. So you want to be careful about what you do. So it looks like the only thing that's going to stop me is crafting a belt. But let me double check here just to make sure. Yeah, I don't see any belt that's up here where I need it to be anyways. That might be in one of the buildings to craft in. So we're going to go ahead and skip that. Craft berry tea, that's real simple. Okay, let's see who all we can kill here. Or gather, either way. So if you brought you one or two food along, you should be okay because you'll find food while you're scavenging around. So I just brought me one cheese just for the heck of it. Turnips and blueberries are a good source of eating. It might say that you would need to use blueberry tea or something like that for something that you have to craft, just like the berry tea. But if you have to eat it, or try not to anyways, at least go through your stamina a lot more. Try to save all the items you can get. So that way you'll start stockpiling up a lot faster on things that you'll really need later on. Since there's no bad thing that happens when you die, except if you die out here, you just have to run back and use up your stamina to go get your body back and your, well, your items back, really. You don't get your body back. So that's an extra trip of stamina or time that you've wasted. Another cool thing, you'll see that it was attacking for X amount of damage. If you go look at your weapons or anything at the bottom right under your character, it's 6 attack. But if you do the sneak attack by crouching up behind something, they'll do 12 attack. So once they aggro you, you cannot get that double thing back. It's like just a surprise double attack. That's how the game is set up so far. So once you have a full inventory, just go ahead and get everything on the map that you can. Kill all the animals. Just do what you can in order to bring back everything from the map. Because the first few places that you go, one or two places, you want to try to stock up on all of it. See, it says I need space in my inventory. Okay. So you can decide what you want to get rid of. Maybe you don't want to get rid of anything. Like I was saying, to stock up. So just go around so you know you can't get that type of material. It'll look like iron. So just collect everything else you can. In your inventory, it stacks up to 20 a space. So now there's three turnips, ten rushes, three blueberries. That'll stack up in sets of 20. 
and then it'll need another space if you want to collect more of that item. So I'm just going to go ahead and get everything that I need to get. I have it wrote down, all the stuff that I need, but for this video purposes, we'll just go ahead and try to gather as much stuff as we can with what we got. So it looks like I'm I full I'm full up on rock. You can see 20 rock right there. Okay. So can't do anything with the rock anymore, but it does give you experience points every time that you hit something. So if there's a place that you can store some stuff in, there might be a chest somewhere. or some kind of place where you can put your stuff at to where you can keep, keep doing everything you need to do and so on your second return all you have to do is just pick up and go ah, like this right here is a barrel right on this map just like a chest so I'll go ahead and put my full stuff double tapping over there. One sec, alarm's going off. Okay. Um, so that's all I'm going to put over there for now. I know where the barrel's at, so I can keep on collecting stuff. I'm going to have to craft something here in a bit. Notice I'm not eating anything either. My food and water is getting lower. My health is getting lower too. So it depends on if I have enough material or time to make it back and drop off everything and die and then come back. I can do that too. I didn't waste any stamina anyways walking up here. So all you need is, is time, basically. And so I pretty much have half the map covered already. I'll catch that deer. You have to sneak up on those deer every time. We're just getting everything that I need. Because no matter what, it looks like I'll have to make another trip back. Even though from what I have wrote down and what I have stacked up at the base right now, I won't have to make the trip back. But like I said, just for these purposes here, these will give you good tips and tricks on what to do when you're out in the field starting out. If you happen to stumble across this video here and actually follow up. Ah, so I broke my pickaxe there. See if I already got what I need in my inventory. Yeah, I can do it. Got 20 logs, 14 rock. Go ahead and craft another pickaxe here. I can continue on. So, you never want to be shy about resources when it comes to crafting your axe or pickaxe. You're definitely going to need it. So I've hit 20 food and 20 water, so I'm going to have to watch out now. Even though your health goes down by one every two seconds. So I got a good amount of time. As long as I can make it back to my map before I die, that's the main thing. Because you can pick up your bag anyways. But like I was saying before in the other video, it's always good practice to put all your stuff away. Because you never know if the game is going to glitch out. Or your bag might disappear so all this hard work that you've done could go away. Definitely don't want that. So 
So I'm trying to stockpile everything I can inside. <clears throat> it looks like two chests right now. Then I'll go back to one or if I'm filled up and I will take it back to the base and come back and get what I can. When you're playing this game, there are places at the bottom. As you notice at the bottom, there's chat. My name's covering it. But right beside your chat, you can click on the three people, and there are different forms between the lounge, discussion, bug reporting, and suggestions on how you can want to make this game possibly better. The developers are always encouraged by people that want to help out and do what they can. And I always like seeing players make suggestions also. You never know when that person, one person is going to have a great idea. So at the bottom left there is an auto button. As you can see, I didn't move the mouse that time, and he'll go around collecting everything that's on the map that's left once all the enemies are defeated. If there's still things to hit on the map, it will not do it. So most of the time, I'll go through and clear out, you know, on the harder levels, all the enemies, and then have it go through everywhere. If I want to sit back and take a break for a second... This thing is optional, so you're not going to auto every time, everywhere. So it still gives the player, you know, the freedom to do what they want without having the game tell it what to do. So it's saying there's nothing left to collect. Okay. So it looks like we're going to have to get out of here soon. Let me go check on the other barrel. It's around here somewhere. There we go. Okay, we'll have to remember that. Took what we can from there. Take what we can from there. Head off the map here since I'm dying now. Everything's collected, everything's hit. You got the most experience points you need. And we'll go home and walk, and the next episode we'll drop off everything and uh, run back and grab the rest. But we'll finish out this episode and drop off what we needed. Just so you can see how close I like to cut it anyways. So we've got about 80 some seconds to drop off everything. As you can see here, iron ore, I'm filled up basically. And I only make 100. Two, four, six, eight, ten. The rest of it, I, you just don't need. So that's why I have it wrote down of how much I really use and go through. I'm do a double check right quick. Okay. So this other stuff, I'll just get rid of. Because you can find that almost on every map. It won't matter. You'll get it again. Don't worry. Well, since we're here, uh, well, I can't really take off this stuff here. Just make sure all my things are filled up here. Oh, need some rock. You see it's down to 18 health, 17 health. I'll still make it. Not worried about it at all. Do this quite often. And we can start destroying stuff here. Let's take off some of the crap here.
One thing is, you need to take off that bag every time. See, I'll show you right here that I'm going to die. This is strictly for the video purposes as well. We're going to respawn. Now I happen to respawn on top of my water well for some reason. You'll go right back into your base. See that bag sitting there I just died at? I have nothing on me right now. Everything's sitting right there. Now if you want to take the chance, you can always leave an item in there, and this can be a really big storage container. But I just do not trust what the game could do. Things always could go wrong. And all these other items right here, I don't even need them. Because I have plenty more. I can keep crafting as much as I want. I run low a little bit. Well, I can make it again and go back out to an easy level and just restock up. And see that I died. Food's back up. No curse right beside the stamina up there, beside that 60, full health. I didn't lose a thing. Didn't spend an item. <clears throat> so once that, I'll put everything away. Because everything is collected. I'm put this in my right chest here. Everything's collected, so in the next episode we'll go get the rest of the stuff and put everything away. Then we'll take a look at one or two other buildings here. Stay tuned for episode four. Thanks for watching.